Buongiorno e benvenuti. I'm Stephanie Smith from Liner Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you an exclusive penthouse for sale in Palazzo Portinari Salviati in Florence. Today we are in Florence and only two steps away from Piazza Duomo and La Cupola del Brunelleschi. We are about to see an exclusive penthouse for sale in Palazzo Portinari Salviati in the heart of Florence. Initially owned by the well-known banker Folco Portinari, father of Beatrice Portinari that was the muse and true love of Dante Alighieri, the father of the Italian language and the writer of La Divina Commedia. It then passed into the hands of the Salviati family, where Jacopo Salviati married Lucrezia de' Medici, that was the daughter of Lorenzo il Magnifico de' Medici, the Grand Duke of Tuscany. This palazzo recently went through a thorough renovation, and half of the palazzo was dedicated to a luxury boutique hotel, while the rest into residential apartments. All the residential apartments have access to the amenities that the hotel has to offer. I am super excited to show you this penthouse, so follow me and let's check it out. at the top floor of Palazzo Portinari Salviati and at one of the entrances to the penthouse. Welcome to this amazing penthouse. It is 450 square meters developed on two floors and has a beautiful 71 square meter terrace that we will see in a moment. Before continuing, I want to point your attention to the mesmerizing view that we have from this apartment straight a first row seat onto La Cupola del Brunelleschi and Il Campanile di Giotto, two emblemas of the city of Florence. As you might notice, the apartment is missing those finishing touches, but that was done on purpose, so the future owner can customize it as they prefer. There is the possibility to unite the two floors to add either a staircase or an elevator but we can already see the beauty of the space. I mean, just look at those exposed wooden beam ceilings. Aren't they beautiful? Right now, we are in what could be considered a common area, an entrance, or a living slash dining area. From here, we connect to the master bedroom. Here we are in the master bedroom. Here you could put your bed so you have a front view over the Duomo and the Campanile di Giotto. But also you have a view over the Cotto roof tiles that are so typical of the center of Florence. The master bedroom has its own master bathroom with shower and walk-in closet. The common area connects not only to the master bedroom, but also to the rest of the living area. Here is where a possible kitchen could go. It has beautiful marble floors, and thanks to the French window, we can access the spacious terrace, where you can enjoy your alfresco meals. 
The kitchen connects to an adjacent room that could be used either as a cozy dining room with ensuite bathroom or it could be used as a service quarter with bathroom. It also has a French window from which you can access the terrace so in case of a service quarter you could give full independence to your staff. But now let's check out the terrace. Here we are on the true gem of this property, which is the 71 square meter terrace. This is an absolute rarity to have smack in the center of Florence, and it enjoys complete privacy since it has zero introspection. To add to the space is the beauty of the tip of the Duomo. We can access the terrace from practically every room on the floor and it is the ideal spot to enjoy your al fresco moments during the warmer weather. In fact, in the summertime, this would probably become my personal living room if this were my house, where I could just sit and relax. This space is also ideal if you enjoy organizing parties and events. And speaking of those, this door caters exactly to that need because your guests can access the terrace directly without necessarily having to pass through your own home. However, before I mentioned that the apartment is developed on two floors, so now that we're done with the upper floor, let's check out downstairs. The lower level of the apartment also has its own independent access. Here we are at the lower level of the penthouse. From here, we can access directly the master suite. The master suite has its own master bathroom, walk-in closet, and the actual bedroom. This space has a lovely frame which is retro-illuminated by LED lighting. This room has a softer lighting, so it could also be transformed into a study. Opposite to the master suite is the rest of the apartment. Here we have the shaft where either the elevator or the staircase will go. Continuing along the hallway is a guest bathroom, a bedroom with walk-through closet and ensuite bathroom. And the rest of the living area just opens up from here. Here is the living area with lots of natural light and we have a view over the Campanile di Giotto. The room also has LED lighting and also this floor is just waiting to be customized. From here, we flow straight into what could be potentially a dining room. This possible dining area is the ideal place to enjoy your meals with your friends and family. And also, thanks to the illuminated niches, you can enjoy your favorite artwork. The dining area connects to the possible kitchen with marble floors. And from here, we can reconnect to the foyer. That's all for the penthouse, but now I want to show you the many amenities that this palazzo has to offer. We are on the Piano Nobile of Palazzo Portinari Salviati, where we have a first of the common areas. Here we have a 110 square meter state-of-the-art salone that offers a variety of lounge and sitting areas where you can enjoy a good book or even have a business meeting in complete privacy. Centers of the room is this magnificent Murano glass chandelier. 
Recently, Palazzo Portinari Salviati went through an important and thorough renovation and restoration, as we can see by the vibrant colors and the details of the frescoes that were brought out. The frescoes date back to the 1700s and were painted by Tommaso Gerardini. If we look up, we have a scene from the Olympus. And if we look carefully, we can spot out a variety of divinities. This room to me is representative of the importance and the elegance of Palazzo Portinari Salviati. You're not just buying an apartment or a simple pied a terre, you're buying a piece of history. in the beating heart of Palazzo Portinari Salviati. This is the main hall, which is the perfect place to enjoy a nice aperitivo, lunch or dinner, thanks to the delicious bistro and bar. Central to the space is a statue of Cosimo I de' Medici, which was the Grand Duke of Tuscany. And surrounding him as a perfect frame are beautiful columns that bring our attention up to the sky where we have a beautiful skylight that fills the space with natural light. To my left is the concierge service, which is present 24 seven. Part of the amenities that the Palazzo has to offer is the bar and bistro, where you can enjoy a nice drink or taste the delicious flavors of the Italian cuisine. Opposite to the bar is a multifunctional room where you can hold conferences or organize events. From the multifunctional room that could be used for private events, we arrived to the stunning Michelin star restaurant a Vito Mollica. The restaurant is called Atto. Here, each dish conveys the passion, the dedication and creativity of Chef Mollica. In fact, the restaurant's name is Atto, which translates to act, because each dish is an act of love. The restaurant features three rooms, which connect to this central space. Here we have this lovely fountain that creates a relaxing atmosphere. And it brings our attention to the mosaic floors that are covered and protected by glass. This space is called La Corte degli Imperatori, which translates to the Emperor's Courtyard. And it takes this name thanks to the 12 bronze busts above. Each bust represents a Roman emperor. And that brings our attention to the stained glass ceiling with carved wood frame. Center to the stained glass is a female figure that pours gold coins. And she is the nymph Amalthea. On opposite sides of the central courtyard are two loggiati with frescoes by Allori and his pupils. Each loggiato depicts six scenes that represent the strength and persistence of Ulysses and Hercules. These were dedicated to the Salviati family. Amongst the variety of amenities that the penthouse can take advantage of, there is this stunning 500 square meter spa area, which is a true experience for all the senses. Here we have a relaxation area with loungers that you can take advantage of after a lovely and relaxing Finnish sauna, a Turkish bath, or the indoor heated pool with jacuzzi and ozone therapy. To complete the floor is a 50 square meter boutique 
fitness area that has all the possible equipment that you fitness lovers would love. Adjacent to the fitness area is a piece of an ancient Roman road that was discovered during renovations. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I can't wait to see what you thought of this exclusive penthouse for sale in Palazzo Portinari Saldiati. On that note, ciao!